Hi guys, welcome back to Wildebeard Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about Batman and the Outsiders, issue 2, Lesser Gods, part 2, written by Brian Hill, with art by Dexter Soy. Now, I really enjoyed this issue. Uh, we get some interesting dialogue between Batman and Black Lightning. Uh, we get some more insights on the character of Caliber, which might hint at some of the rewrites they had to do on this book. We'll talk about that in a minute. And uh, some interesting stuff going on with Sofia uh, Barrera. Um, I almost said Butella. That's an actress, not a combo character. Um, some interesting stuff going on with her and Ra's al Ghul, who wants her, not quite sure what he's up to. But let's dive into it, because like I said, I really enjoyed uh, this book. So we start off with a um, great conversation between... Uh, Jefferson Pierce and Bruce Wayne, and Jefferson actually even calls out Bruce here. He says, um, stop Bruce Wayneing me, please. I'm here to work with Batman, which I really enjoyed. Uh, right after Batman was about to uh, make a crack about um, his <laughs> drinking tea. It's like, how do you drink tea? Oh, I let it cool. Alfred something something, right? Um, and he says... Um, no, he says, how you're the symbol of certainty. You make the impossible seem likely. You walk into a room and doubt runs for the door. Don't tell me you learned that from a bunch of bats. And I love his response here. He says, I'm the symbol of fear. I'm the nightmare that people can trust. I like that line. That's what I learned from bats. But you, Jeff, your hope. You can be a symbol of that. It's just a lot harder right now. Uh hope is what Sophia needs and that's why he wants uh, Jefferson Black Lightning and his team of outsiders to be the ones to go get Sophia I really like that um, so then we get more information on our character of Caliber who at the end of last issue the very last page he said he was from the future and he was here to save her from Ra's al Ghul now this first dialogue with this character completely contradicts that and says no that wasn't the case um, he says, uh, Sophia asks him, are you really from the future? And he says, oh, no, I need to come, uh, I need, I needed you to come with me. I'm an arms dealer, former from Markovia. You'd have run if I told you that. And she says, well, I feel stupid. Um, and, but he says the Ra's al Ghul part is real, unfortunately. Now, um, there were, the reason that was given that this book was delayed was because something needed to be changed in it to be, to fit into DC continuity. Part of me thinks that maybe they needed to change Caliber's origin story. Uh, I remember when I googled around after the end of issue one, just to see if this was a returning character and I just didn't know it, um, I believe I didn't find anything that this was indeed a new character, which at the time I said felt very derivative from uh, the Terminator movies. Uh, obviously, that's almost line for line what Kyle Reese said to Sarah Connor when he finds her in the first Terminator, right? Um, and here it's completely wiped away, completely contradictory, contradicted, almost played as if the end of last issue was kind of a joke, which is maybe a little off-putting. Um, so I don't know. I, I'm one of my big curiosities going into Batman and the Outsiders was, could we see the, the footprints and like the erasure marks of what they changed to make this fit or to, you know, whatever they had to rewrite or change, um, whether it was something within this book or if it was true, what they, we heard that they needed to change something to have it fit in DC continuity. Not sure, but that set off kind of red flags, uh, alarm bells in my head. So we get uh, some good conversation between them. Uh, Sophia says, I'm strong. Uh, I don't know how strong. I heal fast and I want to be a doctor and work with kids. And uh, Caliber says, the world needs more doctors. Um, then she basically um, says, hey, you know, I'm in this. I'm going to, you know, she asks him for a gun, which uh, he gives her after convincing him. It's like, no, I, I need to help protect myself. I'm not going to kill myself. That's not who I am. Um, and I like um, how he says um, here, um, like she says, I'm not fragile, right? Um, no, she says, uh, it would help if you stopped treating me like I was fragile. And then I love uh, Caliber here. He's kind of musing to himself. Dr. Fragile? Like, should we call it Fragile? Dr. Fragile? And he's like, no, Dr. Fragile sounds like a bad guy name. It very much does sound like a bad guy name. So then our main uh, bad guy for this issue is here kind of doing some sort of prayer which ritual with some big old badass looking scythe like uh, six, uh, s uh, curved swords there. Really dig that. Um, so he calls in to Roz and says he's going to go off and find her. 
Then we get Sophia, and she lied, straight up lied to Caliber. She is about to off herself, but doesn't get the chance because that's when our big bad guy, Ishmael, shows up. I forgot his name for a second. Um, I should remember it because of Moby Dick, right? Uh, so that's when uh, the action really starts. Caliber uh, comes in, him and Ishmael start fighting. Uh, she tell He tells her to run, and then she stops, says no, and is going to come back. Um, she comes back, um, got a big old two-page ad, um, two-page ad for Batman Curse of the White Knight, the sequel to that Sean Murphy series from last year, early this year, which I didn't read, I heard it was good, did you guys read it, let me know if you guys liked it, uh, throw a comment down in the bottom, thanks, um, and so there's big old cool fight, um, Sophia runs back in, saves Caliber, um, really cool stuff, then, He's about to, uh, Cal Ishmael's about to lay down a big old swing on Caliber, or on Sophia, and it's this page. Uh, that's when the Outsiders show up, Katana blocks the sword, and this is really interesting here as well. Um, uh, Ishmael says, nice, nice to meet you, Tatsu, the demon wants you too. So that is very interesting. So first off, we know Ra's al Ghul wants... Uh, Sophia, but we don't know why yet. But now we also know that he wants uh, uh, Katana, right? No idea. Um, so then uh, we get like a cool moment here with uh, uh, Orphan, uh, Cassandra Kane, and Signal Duke Thomas, where she says, Signal, launch, and he like, you know, helps chuck her up in the air. Uh, big fight, um, cool stuff, big old another two page ad. Um, and then this was really cool. So the bad guys got Jefferson up, and then, uh, where is it? Boom. Gets his arm shot right off, but he heals it and calls down some, like, big energy blast and knocks out all of the outsiders, and they wake up. She's gone, um, and then Calibur's, like, tells Black Lightning, he's like, hey, which one of us wants to call Batman and tell him we failed? I don't want to be the one to make that call. Then um, Sophia wakes up. And she is in the clutches of one Mr. Raz or Raish Agul, depending on your preferred pronunciation. So, all in all, I think a solid issue. It's got some good character interplay, uh, some cool fight scenes. We get some more information on our characters. Uh, maybe get a hint at what they had to rewrite in this book. I'm not quite sure. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to issue three. Guys, what do you think about this? Uh, did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here at the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. It would mean a lot. And until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.